Hello, everyone! I am Tacit, and today I was going to go over the best team to 2.15 video, but I'll be doing that on Tuesday instead today because I just got all of the kingdoms up to 5 stars. Just got Blackhawk up and got the extra uh, plus 1 attack on it, so plus 2 attack total. So for that, I'm going to be showing some Skull Spam teams instead. Skull Spam teams are any kind of teams that can really just create a bunch of skulls on the board, particularly 15+. plus would basically be considered skull spamming and there are several troops that can do this and I'm going to be showing a couple teams with those but before I do let me just give out the redeem code real quick for PC and mobile first 250 people one thing to note about the teams we are about to show is that these teams all do work on console I made sure every single one of the troops I used in this are available on console with the exact same traits and you'll easily be able to use it there. And of course, this code is U-T-P-T-H-I-K-M-C-A. Uh, it almost says think. It's funny when the random codes just sometimes give words. But there we go. Two treasure maps, one gem key, 200 souls, and 2,500 gold. So let's go do these teams. I've actually shown all three of these before, but I've never compiled them all into one video in which we just show various skull spamming teams so that is what we're going to be doing right now uh the first team we're using right here many of you have probably seen before especially many of you later on in the game it's one of the most popular teams right now but i had to throw it in i couldn't go doing this video without not having it just because of how ridiculously popular it is right now double manacore deep four bone dragon you can easily make this on console it's particularly easy to make early on in the game as bone dragon is the only um is basically the only hard thing to get because all you need is a fully traded mana core deep boar you don't need any traits on bone dragon you don't need any traits on so all you really need is a bone dragon and the fully traded mana core which is fairly easy to get so we do not get that much mana he'll take some browns right there uh, we'll easily just be able to drain anything that he gets up. The main thing about the mana cores, particularly double mana core, is they are basically never going to cast unless they get like an already had like double empowered or something like that. Something that you can't really stop. That's about the only way they're not going to get a uh, castle or they're going to get a castle. So he'll just take the skulls. We need a little bit more brown or purple, neither of which are available, I do not think. So I'm just trying to see if we can find another way to take it. I'll just take these reds, I guess and start getting up our deep boar. We can always just get him up, and that will be our mana if need be. So we'll drain that out again. And our mana cores, of course, get more attack as soon as whenever they do anything like that. If they had status effects like Disentangle, uh, Entangle is a very, very hard counter to Skull Spam, and uh, we have Impervious, which will completely protect against any kind of Entangle. The only thing that they could possibly do to stop us is doing a... Uh, attack reduction, which he has none of. And there we go, another mana core. He's gonna drain us, though. He's gonna get that off, but we'll be able to easily just do a bone dragon. And he did take all of our bone dragon mana, which is a little bit unfortunate, but as long as we get a nice surge right there, we'll get all of it right back up. And now we can finally start using the skull spam. Just go down the line, uh, do it to the second one, then the third, then the fourth, and then you're already done. Uh, if you're a little bit earlier on in the game, you may have to do it on the first troop, particularly if it's a stone skin or a Gorgotha, you'd likely have to do it at the first troop and just go down the line. But uh, once you get a little bit later, once they get like ridiculously high armor values, probably above, I would say about 30 or so, you'd be able to do it, uh, or maybe even just 20 upwards, you'd be able to just do it to the second one and then the third and the fourth instead of going down the line. It'll save time because your next goal will then just be able to one shot in most instances. So we'll take that, he'll take the skull right there, we'll just do another skull spam, and that would pretty much be the match, pretty close to it. Yep, there we go with that, and now we just need two single skulls, and that will be that. We'll take the purples, make sure to get a little bit extra mana, we would have got an, an extra turn too if a green would have fallen there to give us a four times. Unfortunately, it didn't, uh, so now we'll have to just seek out one more skull. We'd get a purple or brown surge. We would have gotten full mana. And there we go. We got a cascade on it. So we'll just be able to kill it out with that. Or right there. And there we go. So there's the first one. And we still have uh, two other ones. Normally with a bone dragon skull spam team. You may want to wait a little bit later into the game. Like if you get a bone dragon excessively early. Uh, you might not actually want to use it. Despite it being an extremely good team. And gosh. People are still trying to use the um, four times uh, Kerberos. Um glitch it doesn't work anymore on uh, PC that was a glitch that happened last week uh, but we'll go to this on to the second team 
The next Skull Spam team, also one of the better early game Soul Farm teams. It does require two Legends, unfortunately, but it does do very, very strong. And it is the kind of team that as long as you have Keeper of Souls, you don't really need an Abraf there. You can replace out Abraf with just about anything, and it would still work. It's just we use Abraf for the board clear and the high amount of attack that he gets. We'll easily be able to just keep spamming the Valkyrie, the Keeper of Souls, and the uh, Giant Spider. And whenever the board isn't in our favor, we'll just be able to remove the entire board with the Abraf and just reset it in for our other moves. So we'll take red, get that up. We have our banner here set to red-yellow. I also made sure not to set any of our banners to things that we wouldn't need. For example, if you were playing this on PC or mobile, uh, you'd probably set it to plus two red, plus one yellow, minus one brown. Unfortunately, consoles, you still don't have that. So I just set it to a red-yellow instead, something that you guys on consoles can also use. Uh, we'll take these skulls up first. You always want to work from the top of the board. Same as treasure maps, same with these. Whenever there's extra turns up here, you want to take from the top. Because, as you can see, there's a nice 10 times, or a nice 5 times here, which will give us 10 mana. But we want to take that move that we already did, these browns right here first. Or else we're, they might go away to a point where we won't be able to use them. So you want to take from the top first. Though that was a little bit unlucky. We did get a cascade that uh, messed that up. So maybe not always do that. Uh, but let's see, we'll take the yellow. Normally, generally, it's better to do it that way, though. And we'll just clear out the board. There's nothing we can really convert, so that's why we're going to clear it out. It'll also give us extra attack, and normally it'll also give you an extra turn if you're lucky enough. If you're not lucky, then it'll give the enemy a your extra turn. But we'll just do that, we keep our souls up, and then we just keep spamming it. Uh, if that is if there's a move. Yes, there is. We'll do it on purple. It doesn't even matter if we convert out something like purple or blue. Normally, in teams like that, you don't want to convert out your colors that you are mainly using to fill up all of your troops but with this particular team you do because you can just clear out the entire board give yourself a completely fresh board you can kind of do the same thing with exploders but it works uh even better with this team so purples we could do this on blue no we can't that's not an extra turn so we'll just have to clear out the board then we could take those skulls but that won't really be worth it we're better off just doing this converting something to purple like the green and just going on from there we'll get keeper souls we'll get abarath up and we'll just keep repeating from there. And we, of course, we get the extra souls because of that necromancy right there. And let's see, we'll do that on... Oh, come on, we don't even get an extra turn off the brown. So we'll move that down. Now we can get an extra turn off brown. We'll just take some skulls and just keep repeating that. You also want to try taking it in a way that you can get multiple extra turns instead of just a whole big skull spam. That is one good thing about the Keeper of Souls compared to Bone Dragon and some other skull spammers is you know exactly where every single one of his skulls are going to be because you get to just choose the color and then all of that color will become uh, skulls. So you can actually set up multiple extra turns whereas something like Bone Dragon, Shegra, and many other converting troops that do skulls are just placing skulls on the board and they could just go randomly everywhere and will likely clump up if, and give you less damage. But when you have something like a Keeper of Souls you can just... Uh, know where they all are and just try putting them in a way that you'll get of course an extra turn you always want to do that but also so you'll get a bunch of extra four times and five times that you can take afterwards to get a bunch of uh extra procs off and now wow he's using a lot of death mark wow he's using every single death mark pretty much in the game herald of chaos with death mark on death touch uh succubus with a death mark on ability penitent with a double death mark on ability consoles you guys still don't have him he's pretty weak though and death uh, with a death mark on all enemies, so hopefully we won't die to death mark. That is pretty likely. We do have mercy, which can cleanse it off, but there is a 10% chance that we uh, won't have any chance to cleanse it because it can trigger at a 10% chance on the very first turn it gets placed. It used to have a two-turn buffer, now it has a zero-turn buffer, so uh, sometimes cleanse can't even stop it, but there we go. Uh, normally, you saw, uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but we set our banner to a double yellow with this team, which helped us extremely quickly, got up our Great Maul. We had the Empowered Mercy, got it right up. We'll be able to take out his staff, hopefully get an extra turn here, and just keep looping from there. We did not get an extra turn, and he will get a little bit on us. He'll take some skulls. We'll want to focus on yellows, mainly because we have a plus two on our yellow. I'm going to be taking this yellow, or either of these two yellows, instead of this yellow. I want to make sure I do not take the greens, even though we kind of need it for mercy. We could take that yellow, too. Uh, any of those three would work. Uh, the main reason I don't want to take these is because we'll need those for the convert. It co converts all browns, or Inferno King 
converts all uh, browns into reds and all skulls into green. So we don't want to interrupt too many of them. I, I guess we'll go for this brown mainly because you need it for Shegra. But oh, and I accidentally did that. Well, there goes the thing I was not trying to interrupt. Now he gets two extra turns. Oh, well. That didn't quite work out. I wasn't paying attention to the cascade of it. Uh, he'll take a skull. If nothing else, we can always start taking a brown or something for a Shegra. If he'll let us take it. And no, we are not. So he'll take the skull that way. Okay, there is not much we can do with that then. Okay. We'll take these blues then and take the skull that way. And okay, we get the yellows and hopefully we can get some kind of line mid this turn. One bad thing about this team it is very, very powerful once it gets going. But uh, one thing that you might initially have a problem with when you first start out, uh, when this first team is just starting at the beginning of the match, is you're not going to get alignment for extra turns. Like right now, we could use Inferno King, but there is no place on this board that we're actually going to get a extra turn for it. So it would be a complete waste, and it will probably give the AI a huge move. So we're just going to have to uh, take Skulls instead. It doesn't even kill it. He'll take some reds. I saw that. But uh, we'll really need to try getting a Inferno King alignment. Sometimes you can go turns without ever getting... Mercy or Inferno King where you actually need them uh, as far as the board like right here again There's some reds. We'll get that that we'll get a skull, but none of that's actually an extra turn I'll kind of just show it right now like we're probably gonna miss quite a bit here Hopefully we won't but it is yeah like that He'll take a five times there and it can sometimes be even worse than that Which is why you want to wait until there's actually a extra turn and that's one of the only uh, really ba uh, bad downsides to this team but once you start getting these things casted, like a Shegra, once you get like a Inferno King plus a Shegra, it's pretty much match at this point. We'll just, you'll see, like the whole team will just go down one after the next, and we'll just take whatever we need on the board, and there we go. Uh, that is match, I believe. Let me just double check to see that's enough damage. I think that is. Let's take that skull. Yeah, that is. And that is match, and that is skull spamming. Uh, one of the other reasons I wanted to show this now instead of in the 2.15 video is uh, there's not that many uh, good skull spammers in the 2.15 video. There's some that do like a little bit of skulls, but these are like the main traditional ones that have been in the game for uh, quite a while now. Uh, many of these have been very popular, uh, especially the Abarath with the Keeper of Souls one, Valkyrie, Giant Spider, all that. That has always been pretty good for just a consistent soul farming team that can just clear out uh, pretty much anything. You do have to watch out with these teams with stone skin. If you happen to find things that are coming around with a lot of stone skin, granite skin, agile, things like that, you would just use this first team instead since you can use the mana cores to stun them out and any troop that is stunned cannot use any of their traits. But anyways, that'll wrap it up for this video. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.